This video is designed to help guide you through the meter screens of the MEARTR revision 4.0 in order to see what your PT100s are doing. Other revisions may show slightly different screens, but this video should get you through the menus. Please refer to your owner's manual for more in-depth information. Starting at the main screen of your MEARTR, press meter. 01 DC meters should be blinking. Turn the knob to 07 PT meters. Press select. 07A PT status shows the status of your PT 100s. Please note in the upper right hand corner of the screen, it shows how many PT 100s you have connected in your system. This is also the screen that will tell us if any of the PT 100s are actively in a fault. Turn the knob to view the AUX relay of the PT-100. This will show you the current status of the auxiliary relay inside the PT-100. Turn the knob to 07C PT volts. This screen tells you how many volts are coming into the PT-100 on the PV side and how many volts it's seeing on the battery side. Turn the knob to 07D target volts. This screen tells you the voltage the PT100 is trying to get to, as well as what temperature it is using for temperature compensation. If your system was actively in bulk, we would expect this target voltage to be your absorb setting, adjusted for temperature compensation. Turn the knob to 07E to battery now. This shows the amperage and wattage we are pushing out to the batteries in real time. Turn the knob to 07F, power to battery. This screen shows the output of the PT100 to the batteries. Life is the total power out of the controller since it was installed. Reset is the total power out since the last reset. To reset this number, press and hold the select knob for 5 seconds. Turn the knob to 07G, ground fault. This menu shows the real-time measurement of the current going through the ground fault inside the PT100. This meter can be monitored to give an indication of developing ground faults in a system. Turn the knob to 07H, PT Data. Press Select to see the PT Log. This log shows system and individual PT data history regarding harvest, the amount of time the PT has been on or working, maximum volts from the PV array, maximum power from the PV array, maximum battery voltage, minimum battery voltage, and amount of amp hours that have been sent to the batteries. If you press select and see today in the upper left hand corner start blinking, you can then rotate the select knob to go through historical data. This information is saved for up to 255 days. Press meter to get back to the PT meter menu. Turn the knob to 07i, clear PT data history. Press select if you want to clear the historical data in your PT100. Press and hold the select knob for five seconds while in this screen. You'll see a countdown, and when it gets to zero, we'll say data history cleared. Turn the knob to 07J, PT100 version. This will show the firmware revision of your charge controllers. If you have different firmware revisions, the screen will display stacked PTs are different. Turn the knob to 07K, PT active. This will give you a list of active PT addresses based on your DIP switches as described in our PT100 stacking video. If there is only one PT100, it would not be stacked and would show that on the screen. You have reached the end of the PT100 meter menus. You can now press meter to get back to the main screen.